Good day, I'm Red Kalain and welcome to UPTV Online Profiles Student Edition. For today's show, we'll be having a very interesting guest. We'll be having a unique student leader who has been working to make sure that Filipino students get the best out of their education. Who is he and how has he been doing this? Let's watch this. Jose Emanuel Mikael Eva VIII, or popularly known as Mickey Eva, is a former BS Management Economics student in UP Baguio. He has since transferred to UP Diliman and is now graduating BS Geography student. Mickey served as a student leader through the College of Social Sciences and Philosophy Student Council where he was elected as counselor and as vice chairperson under Buklod CSSP. As a student's advocate, Mickey was elected and is the current president of Straw Coalition, a huge network of various student councils and organizations in the Philippines who seek for the passage of the Students' Rights and Welfare Bill. Mickey was also elected as vice chairperson for Straw under Alianza, and he also serves as a consultant of Straw for the Bukluran UP system. After graduation, Mickey is planning to pursue law or work in any geography or economics company. Mickey Eva, a student leader, a student's advocate, and a UP student. All right, welcome to the show, Mickey Eva. It's nice to meet you. Or since you're from Bicol, kaugmahan kung makabisto ka. All right. Thank you. Is that right? Yep, it's right. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Okay, um, the first thing I want to ask you is, you had a quick transition coming from UP Baguio, yeah. and then you were suddenly uh, invited to Booklet CSSP to be groomed as the next department representative for geography, but then you ended up with a, with a higher position as counselor to the USC. Um, what were the biggest challenges you faced in defining your political identity in the university? Well, in fact, one, I came from a different party with a different set of principles, so it was um, quite a difficult challenge for me to adjust to a new set of principles. But I found myself more co comfortable in Buklod, CSSP, and Alianza. Second, um, kapag nagka-campaign ka kasi, you need people talaga, di ba? Your machinery, your network, your friends. And since I was new, sobrang hirap talaga. Parang, I knew people from geography, but from outside the department, mahirap. So, I really had to catch up with the other candidates na get, get to know more people, get to um, get the support of other organizations, ganun. So, it's kind of um, an, an uphill battle talaga for me. Okay. Um, what party did you come from? Or what was the party like? Before? Yeah, how would you compare the two parties? Uh, my first party was, I would say, sort of extreme um, leftist ideology. Okay. Um, and then I transitioned to a more multi-perspective party, which is Buklod and Alianza. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so obviously, you got over these challenges and you became the vice chairperson of the CSSP Student Council last year. Um, what were some projects you spearheaded that students could look at and say, yeah, we elected the right person? Um, one, my, my banner project was Students' Rights and Welfare Month. No? Um, we're in May, debates an entire month, and there are four weeks um, na may cater sa iba't ibang aspect of students' rights and welfare, like culture, religion, ano pa ba, um, sports, athletes, etc. And one of the best projects I had there was a fashion show for the yeah. LGBT community. It was entitled Project Gender Way. Um, fashion show siya kung saan yung mga outfits were made from UP, were made by UP students. Oh, okay. And then new models naman were LGBT, um, members of the LGBT community from UP Babayla naman. So it was a very beautiful project bringing um, the anti-discrimination bill into the consciousness of the UP students and actually even into the consciousness of the entire nation since the feature siya sa evening news that day. Oh. So it was really... Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, this straw month, is that, or what you mentioned, the Students' Rights and Wel Welfare Month, is that um, just a one-time big-time event or is it every year? Um, it was a one-time big-time event for my term actually. Um, but what we did was we packaged it in a different way para yung advocacy talaga of students' rights and welfare mas makilala talaga siya in the university. But for, for the other years, um, these events still occur but they have a different packaging kasi. Okay. Uh, thank you for those answers, Mickey. Mm -hmm. um, it's time for a quick break. And when we come back, we'll find out more about the students' rights and welfare issues and how do national issues connect with the UP community when we come back with UPTV Online Profiles Student Edition.
We're here to learn about the political undertakings of this Renaissance man, or Renaissance Emmanuel, uh, say Emmanuel Michael VIII, or again, simply, Miki Eva. So, Miki, last year, you ran for USC Councilor under Alianza. Yeah. Uh, when your term as mm. Vice Chairperson of CSSP was ending, how was this a blessing? Oh, I'm sorry. Sadly, you did not make the cut as Councilor. Yeah. How is this a blessing in disguise for your political career? Well, to, te to tell you frankly, you know, um, I never really dream dreamed of being part of the USC. Parang it was really good to be part of the Student Council, etc. But two years in the Student Council, I think I've given so much effort and so much time for the uh, for the UP community. And but giving it a third try, it was actually very ambitious then talaga. So unfortunately, yun nga, I didn't make it. But after some time, I found more opportunities, and I was elected as president of Straw Coalition, Coalition for Students' Rights and Welfare, which is a national network naman of student um, organizations, student councils. So there, I found um, even more student councils to serve um, to, um, even outside UP, Diliman, even outside our campus. Mas marami yung serve ko instead of being able to serve just the UP community. Okay. Uh, for a simple definition, what is the straw bill? The straw bill is a bill now pending in the Congress, no, in Senate and House of Representatives, wherein it assures that several rights of students inside our campus, for example, right to security, right to non-discrimination, right to admission, etc. All these rights are secured inside the campus with the bill. Um, it's been there for the past 16 years, so it's, it's been taking really long for it to be passed. Um, but we've been, we've been striving for it to be passed. And with, with this bill, it will, it will be able to um, penalize the people who violate ng rights of ng students. For example, when it comes to security, when it comes to discrimination, um, um, yung suppression of freedom of expression, freedom, free, freedom to information, etc. So it's really a uh, catch-all for, for students' rights in, in campuses everywhere in the country. Okay, but when I was researching on this bill, I heard that there were, there were some opposition to the bill. Yeah. Um, what are the reasons for opposing the bill? Well, our major opposition is actually administrations of uh, private schools. Yes, in private schools, there's an, a provision sa bill na you cannot raise the tuition na basta basta lang without consultation, without anything. Now, these private schools, they want to um, raise the tuition na parang free market lang in any, any way they want. We don't want that because we want to retain access to education, even in pri even with private schools. So, yung pinakamalaki talagang kalaban is Cocopea. This It's a union of um, private schools in, in the country. So, that's their main, main opposition. Okay. Of all the projects and advocacies that you can choose from, why did you choose the straw bill or House Bill Number 2190? So I chose the Student Rights and Welfare Bill as my personal advocacy because I saw several schools, even outside UP Diliman, that needed this bill. No, um, several students were being discriminated, um, rights were violated in different schools, and I saw the need of students to have this bill passed right away. And second, I saw that there's a lack of support eh, from. E Especially from NGOs, from government agencies, because we are lang talaga yung push for the passage of the bill. Just us students, so no support from from the older people, parang ganon. Um, but with my help, with my advocacy, I was able to tap yung mga government agencies, um, NGOs, etc., to help us with that advocacy. Okay, I'm sure you're going to continue to fight for the straw bill, and that would be a great help for us students. Uh, thank you so much, or just marvelous, Miki Eva, for your answers, and it's been great having you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The experiences of our guest, Miki Eva, are truly unique and should inspire all of us to serve a bigger purpose for others and for the nation as a whole. As Alexander Hamilton once wrote, he who stands up for nothing will fall for anything. I am Red Galayan, and this is UPTV Online Profiles Student Edition.